when they talk of court marriage, they assume that a marriage is celebrated in court. They think that there are certain marriages that are celebrated in court. That is wrong, completely wrong. The court does not celebrate a marriage. When you hear the word court marriage, it means a marriage that can be dissolved only by the high court. It means, again, when you hear the word court marriage, it means a marriage that can be dissolved by the high court. It doesn't mean a marriage that was celebrated in the court. Why is this? The celebration of marriage is executive function. The celebration of marriage is executive function. The issuance of marriage license, marriage certificate, is a, an executive function. It is not done by the court. It is done in the marriage registry. And marriage registries are part of the executive. But also the law allows some churches to celebrate marriages under the act. I hear many people that think that, oh, court marriage means you should go to court and get married. No, no, no such thing. Even though in some countries, judges are allowed to celebrate marriage in some countries, but in that case, the judge is exercising not a judicial function, but a delegated executive function. Let us clarify that. Court marriage means a marriage which can only be dissolved in a court of law or by a court of law performing and exercising judicial functions. Now, on the case of you, Edoche, you got married in the church. Yul's marriage is statutory marriage. His marriage to me can only be dissolved in a court of law. That is why it's called court marriage. And when your marriage can only be dissolved in the high court, that marriage will remain in existence until the high court dissolves it. And if you are in such marriages, you cannot have a second wife. If you have a second wife, you are committing a crime called bigamy. Now, in Nigeria, they normally don't enforce bigamy. There is not a thing the police would consider important for them to enforce, but the law exists. And if they decide to enforce it, <laughs> if they decide to enforce it, you'll be shocked. If the police were to arrest you now, take him to court, the judge will put you in prison. The fact that the government decided not to enforce that law doesn't mean that that law doesn't exist. Indeed, it will just take one police commissioner to charge you for bigamy. And when the case comes before a judge, the judge will look at the law book, he will find that there's a law there, he will look at the facts, he will find that the, the law has been broken, he will look at the punishment, he will see the number of years he will go to prison, and the judge will sentence him. So please, don't confuse yourself and start arguing blindly. You married under the act and has not dissolved that marriage by a court of law. Therefore, his marriage to his so-called second wife, first, it's not a marriage. But to the extent that he had taken steps to celebrate that marriage, they are going to put him in prison if they want to. It's just that they don't want to. If they prosecute him, the law is straightforward. What he did is straightforward. The evidence is very clear. The punishment is very clear. It will take just a few days of trial to put you in prison if they want to do so. But they may not want to do so because they're focusing on more serious crimes or somehow they don't consider bigamy a serious crime. In other countries, it's a very serious crime. They'll put him in prison straight. So I hope you understand these things. Thank you.